pile of logs I've hauled back from, uh, I don't know, maybe 100 yards in the woods back there. Um, and I split a few of the nine footers out there with, uh, with my new maul and some uh, dogwood wedges and, um, and the axe, of course. But um, I want to get, I hauled some of these six footers back that were smaller in diameter the further I worked my buck my way up the tree. So uh, we're going to split these up into uh, manageable rails so we can put it on a chopping platform here and, and chop it into uh, fire, firewood over there in the stack. So it's part of the, uh, part of the axe cordwood challenge that we're working on here. So hang on, we'll get you going. To get my log splitting, I usually just stand over it and strike it here in the middle, try to hit it right in the middle. And uh, once we get that, then we can start driving wedges in to split this thing on out. So, um, now the thing about this tulip poplar or tulip magnolia is it, if we don't hit it directly in the middle, it's going to split off a rail that will finally thin out to nothing down here. So uh, I missed that center piece there just a little bit. So I'm going to try and hit another one right there. That'll work. All right. So now we're just going to start driving wedges in until we get, get the split going. This, this chopping platform is holding this thing together. Um, let me see what else I can do here. Maybe out here. Yeah. Yeah. Just held together by some fibers now. If you've ever worked with any of this poplar, when you split it, this strandy stuff just kind of strings together and you really have to uh, be careful how you do it so that you don't split off a rail and it runs down to zero on, the, on one end. So, um, so once we split one and a half, flip it over with the round up, just like that, and we'll do it again.
also split from top of the tree to the bottom or the butt of the tree. Just uh, it's easier that way. see how that does on the chopping platform now and uh, see if we can't get some firewood cut okay. now we're going to repeat that process many times on these logs but I'm saving um, if I had a, a way to get the the longer logs out of the woods without splitting them besides carrying them on my shoulder it'd be a great thing but um, I don't so that's why I'm setting up the splitting station and chopping station so that we can get this done um, and keep working on that cord wood with just an axe all right guys y'all take care and uh, remember keep doing stuff self-reliance talk to you next time